Isn't that bad if it moves around in a circle? No. It's bad if the spirit tries to move it in the form of an eight or tries to slide it off the board. It means that the spirit's trying to set itself free, and, and that's how hauntings and possessions happen. <laughs> what? I obviously know something about the talking boards. <laughs> talking boards? Yeah. That's what they were called before. They changed their name to Ouija. All right. Now let's stop and position it in the center. Is there anyone here with us from the spirit world? Is there anyone that would like to come in and talk to any of us from the other side? We welcome any spirit to communicate with us. Okay. <laughs> Who did that? Okay, it wasn't me. Wow. I didn't do anything. Kate, it might have been real. Everybody put their fingers back on the planchet. <laughs> Is there anyone there? Oh my god, I'm serious. Who's here? Is there something you want to say to us? Guys? I think there's more than one ghost here. <laughs> what? We can talk to more than one at a time? Okay, I think whoever was here is now gone. However many of them. Mr. X? Anyone know Mr. X? Does it ring a bell with deceased relatives or anything? Are you here to speak with anyone in particular? Did you guys see that gash? 
God is freaky. Okay, guys, we're going to the hospital. Can somebody come with me? I believe we should have listened to Maddie. All right. I've had all the spooks I can take for one night. I have to go to the store tomorrow, so I'm gonna head in. down here. We have to put it back. Guys, I love what you're bringing into this class. I love your enthusiasm. I love the quality of your research. Keep it up. Just remember when you're outside those doors, keep your curiosity and your eyes open. Okay? And I'll see you tomorrow. Professor Curtis, I'm Andrew Porter. The writer? Yes, I uh, wasn't aware you knew who I was. Small town. Did you get everything you needed from the seminar? I thought it was very informative. You and I share a lot of the same theories and beliefs on the subject. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think I could ever really just market my research and theories simply for money. Yes, well, that's unfortunate well as you may know my next book is in relation to the paranormal your next book yes oh. yes uh, it's going to primarily focus on some of the tools used in communication between well people and uh ghosts i seem to remember reading one of your books last year i think it was called the road to nowhere the other side the other side yeah and your research on sort of the spiritual ramifications of life after death, it was just so similar to my own. Yeah. Well, you know, I'd like to ask you a few questions on some of the more common methods used to communicate with. Yeah, talking boards, table tipping, showy stuff. I get it. Yeah, well, with all the research I've been doing, I tend to get a lot of negative feedback on them, specifically Ouija boards. I've yet to encounter a psychic or medium who can agree with them. So, I wanted to get your thoughts, since you seem highly experienced with them. I do agree with the mediums, I and mean, I am highly experienced. And I understand the dangers associated with using Ouija. Dangers? Well, can you tell me about them? Contact with the other side should never be attempted by those who aren't trained to do it. You're taking a huge risk. When people who have actually contacted the dead now think it's a really bad idea, it's best to walk away from the subject altogether. You ever seen a ghost, Doctor? Do you have any idea what it feels like to have a cold presence flash across your face as your eyes widen and your heart stampedes in your chest and you want to grab a hold of something you want to run hide scream but not a part of your body will move and then spend every day after that rationalizing your way back to sanity in your classroom doing up here we're putting this away I'm not going up there I'm gonna go clean